Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, we are going to use the YouTube data API and the request library to print the number of subscribers. Yeah, it's pretty much useless, but we are still going to build it. So the only dependency that you need here is the request library, which is used to pass the JSON. So I've already installed it as always. So once that is done, head over to console.developers.com slash google slash APIs. So once you go there, you have to sign in here and it will uh, redirect you to the dashboard. But we want to go to credentials. And for some weird reason, I have to always reload this again for it to load. So once that is loaded, go to create credentials and then API key. And then I'll copy this key. And don't worry, by the time you're watching this, all these keys are probably deleted. So once I copied that key, I guess I copied it. So let me copy that key. So then this is the simple, pretty much basic code here. So what you need to do is you need to use the URL lib.request and then the JSON or some call it JSON doesn't really matter. So once you import these two libraries, you input your ID. So for YouTube, the ID is uh, this thing next to your channel, whatever the weird characters are, that is your ID. It's a unique ID. And actually you could also do this through your username, but it doesn't work for smaller channels like mine. So I have to use the ID. And then let me paste my key, which I copied. So once I paste my key, I have to use, I have to go find the JSON object that is returned by the API. So that uh, the API returns the JSON object in a URL. So the URL that the API returns is this. So I'll paste the key here. So once I paste the key, see, this is what is returned by the API. So this is a JSON object. So what we are doing here is we are printing the number of subscribers. So to do that, you have to find where is the subscriber count. So here it is. So subscriber count is within statistics, which is in uh, items. So in items, you can see the square bracket here. That means it is an array and inside that the first thing that you find here is this. So inside the array, you have to find statistics and inside statistics subscriber count. So we'll edit that in our code. Oh, first we'll uh, put the URL here. So the URL that you will need is uh, this. Control C and Control V and uh, let me just uh, since we are using input as the ID, let me edit this part here. Let me remove this here because we are, you, we are entering the ID using the user input. So if I hard code it, it's pretty much useless and then uh, name and even for the key, we could do that, I guess. Yeah, because we'll uh, we are giving the key anyway here. So we'll do that too. So I'll remove that part from here. Where did it go? Okay. And key is equal to, then we'll give the key here, which is uh, given here. So it will be dynamic. I'm, by the sense, I mean the user could enter his name and the key. And then the here is where we have to query it. So to query it, the first thing that we need is we need the items. So first thing that we need is the items and within the items, the zeroth location. So what I mean is you have to find the items and within the items, it's the zeroth location where this is located. And within that, what you need is statistics and within statistics, the subscriber count. So we'll put that into our code. So the next thing is statistics. So after statistics, you go into the subscriber count. So you go into the subscriber count and uh, this would uh, return the subscriber count and put it into the subs, which is a variable and then you print the sub. So let's test it out. So I have to enter the ID, which is my channel ID. Uh, let me go ahead and enter it. Okay, URL lib is not defined. It's URL lib double L. And if you're hearing any honking noises, I apologize because I live in India where people have their honking pedals next to their gas pedals. And by the way, honking here is used as a mode of communication here so that no accident occurs. Okay. That is a whole different story. Let me enter the ID and there you go. Yeah, I have 107 subscribers and this is pretty much it in this video. In my next video, what we are going to do is. We are going to use this number as a notifier in Windows. So we are going to send notifications in Windows 
and we are going to schedule the script to be automatic so stay tuned and do subscribe thank you for watching